and I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel and today we are talking about Lake Mead and wow almighty and some people are predicting within the next three years the lake will be a dead pool this is a crazy crazy thought but it's possible that this could possibly happen if you think this is worthy of a like please consider subscribing please tell your friends your family let's get this message out because this is just insane they have released 2,855,973,530,000 gallons this year alone as of right now that they have released out and they are required to release 9 million acre feet and right now they are 97.34% of that requirement. Now the lake has come up in recent days and actually the lake is up 0.58 feet in the last 14 measurements because of precipitation that has been falling out west your inflows are currently 10,859 your outflows are 6,650 at Lake Mead now with all that being said Lake Mead is up 3.94 feet from the water low for the year but Lake Mead is down 23.09 feet from one year ago and even though this is going on and the river is producing more water coming in than what's going out there's still major concerns and one journalist from the Green Wire is reporting that basin could be dry within three years. With Lake Powell needing more water, they basically drain Blue Mesa and Flaming Gorge, and those reservoirs currently have released 113.62% of what they did last year. Last year, they only released 817,934, and this year they released 929,313 acre feet at the Flaming Gorge, and at Blue Mesa, they have released 730,936 acre feet, and they only released 579,787 acre feet last year. So that is crazy to think. And as a matter of fact, Blue Mesa is up 8.14 feet from one year ago, but Blue Mesa is down 14.66 feet from the water high for the year. So this thing has dropped, but it has come up from one year ago at Blue Mesa. And Flaming Gorge, on the other hand, Flaming Gorge is down 6.20 feet from one year ago. And Flaming Gorge is at a low water year at 5.62 so blue mesa has received more precipitation than flaming gorge has but flaming gorge is also down 0.72 feet in the last 14 measurements so it continues to fall the bureau of reclamation is relying on these reservoirs upstream and that's very bad and certain people are dismissing those plans as saying as unfeasible some people at the bureau of reclamation even said that they could only handle two more of those releases and they're going to be in dire situation as well what they need honestly is rain snow precipitation in general it all adds up currently the water is sent downstream the upper basin states must cover those losses for example if california demands a hundred thousand acre feet the upper colorado basin must send 120,000 acre feet to account for evaporation loss they're losing 20,000 acre feet to evaporation that's just incredible. So between 1899 and 1921, that time span was figured to be one of the wettest periods in the basin's history for the Colorado River. And this is crazy because those averages reach 16.4 million acre feet a year. But the real truth about the Colorado is, is that since 1906 at 14.7 million acre feet since 1971, the average has been closer to 13.5 million acre feet instead. So the difference of that is 2.9 acre feet. So they lied to us about this. This guy has studied the river since the 1800s. So he knew that that was a falsehood and they went ahead and went with it. And matter of fact, he got booed out of the hall the night that they were trying to activate this. It's just crazy, but time has proven this guy right. I noticed on my channel just as much as everybody else that people are saying we, we got to drain Lake Powell to keep the water levels at Lake Mead higher. And these are getting louder and louder and louder. And the biggest problem is the growers down there, they're getting into big conflicts and everything else. And it's not a good situation down there at all. They need to come up with some kind of plan and they have yet to do this. And I am very frustrated. This is why I've been taking time off. I can't figure out why they can't come up with some sort of agreement. 
and it is driving me nuts and I do not know what to do about it. I'm a little small YouTuber. I really don't have that much weight and power. I will say that we need to get this message out to everybody so they know that the real average is close to 13.5 million acre feet and they should be taking half of that. And if you take 13.5 and you divide it by 2, that equals 6.75 million acre feet. That way there's plenty of water replenishing the thing and we need to learn to live within our means and have more desalination plants, less golf courses, less car washes, and people just need to suck it up. And that is just my take on it, honestly, because this is just ridiculous as far as this goes. You should be taking 6.75 million acre feet a year out of it, and everybody needs to learn to live within their means. California needs to learn not to dump the water in the ocean, which they're starting to now, finally. But it's way too late in the game. They should have been doing this from the beginning, and they should have had more reservoirs. If there was more reservoirs in California, there would be less problems as there is for right now now they need to be pumping this water into aqueducts whenever they're done with it and everything else in california california is the biggest problem people in california i love you all to death but this is just crazy and your state is the biggest user and it has the least amount of real estate on the colorado river all these other states they have way more real estate than california does that's just a fact so that is my take on this and so this is my final take the states will not come to agreement at some point and the federal government will step in and just say this is the way it's going to be suck it up or they're going to have to come to some sort of an agreement california did you notice all the cuts that they took none zero why because their governor is going to do more desalination plants and blah 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 they should have took some sort of cut just as well as everybody else and they have it and they haven't since day one and they're not going to until the federal government tells them to because that's just the way california is i have been thinking about this for days and i my mind has been off and i had to get right so i hope you guys know where i stand i can't wait to get out there to lake mead lake powell lake havasu i'd also like to hit lake mojave if possible and I'll also get over to california as well so anyway i will be talking about that more in a future update but that is all i have for tonight tell me what you guys think comment down below like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one god bless